impressive to be here. The only thing that is more impressive than being here is me skydiving next week. I'll be doing it for the first time. Yes? <laughs> so thank you all for being here. It's amazing to have uh, such a great audience. I think a few people are going to be uh, coming a little later. And uh, I think we have most of our speakers here. Uh, they'll be coming a little later, uh, a few of them. Uh, so thank you first to HAG. I'm going to say it in French, not H-A-G, because it's harder to say. <laughs> so thank you for HAG for having us. Uh, this event was made possible because of them, because they allowed us to have this wonderful room, and because also they, they offered this uh, breakfast this morning. So I hope you had a good time and had time to network. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about the agenda, but before I'm going to introduce you to the f a few key people that have, uh, we have here and help us have uh, this wonderful day. Uh, obviously, say thank the speakers for being here. We have eight wonderful speakers. I'm going to say the word wonderful so many times today is because it's wonderful to be here. <laughs> and um, also thank, you have gift bags, and uh, I'm going to have Julie from Coworkies explain what they're all about. Uh, really thank uh, them and the sharing box, I'm going to explain about this uh, in a little while. So this is our slide with all information. We are women and men in digital, so I want you to live tweet with a hashtag, it's WDS2017. Take a picture, you don't have to write everything down. <laughs> We're modern people. Uh, we have a Facebook, uh, we need more fans. Please, we don't want to buy them, so you're here, so <laughs> let's make this happen. <laughs> uh, we are on Twitter, and our brand new Instagram account, I'm looking for Clarissa, where is Clarissa? Please raise your hand. So Clarissa just set up our Instagram accounts uh, for today. So we need followers for there too. <laughs> and want to see as many pictures as possible. We have this hashtag. I'm not um, going to have you tweet both. But as you know, there's another hashtag, which is WDS, WD Switzerland. But please stay with this WDS 2017. Uh, for those of you who are not members on LinkedIn, this is uh, the women-only group. Sorry, guys. Uh, everywhere else you're allowed, but on the LinkedIn group. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a company page that you can follow, though. And on Meetup, we have, for those who don't know Meetup, it's um, a website where you can uh, meet other people with uh, different uh, centers of interests, and we have uh, groups in uh, Basel, St. Gallen, Zurich, Geneva, and Lausanne. Uh, the Wi-Fi, uh, we all need Wi-Fi, right? So here's the Wi-Fi, you receive code by SMS, I guess telephones will be vibrating in a little second. <laughs> and uh, please follow on Twitter, HG Geneva. So this is me, I'm the founder and president of Women in Digital Switzerland, let me put this here, I don't need it for the moment. Uh, founded Women in Digital Switzerland three years ago, we're going to have a little presentation about uh, Women in Digital Switzerland, I'm going to invite here on stage Kelly Hungerford and Natasha Gadowski, they're part of the executive committee. Uh, I'm the founder and managing director of Y Coaching and Consulting, I've been working in marketing and business for 15 years and I founded my own company, so have a look if you have time and interest and you can contact contact me as well on different platforms, and this is my email. Um, obviously, this day wouldn't have happened without Kelly. Kelly, raise your hand for everyone to see you. She's going to come up the stage. <laughs> yes, you can, <laughs> really. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everything you've been doing for Women in Digital Switzerland for this day. It wouldn't have happened without you. Uh, so she's our vice president. She's going to talk a little later about what she does for Women in Digital Switzerland and what she does uh, as a, her job in her real life, because we're all volunteering. This is really important for you to know. Uh, she's the owner of Community Works, and she could really have spoken today about communities because she's just such a great expert on this. Uh, so all the data and the website, please go and have a look. Our volunteers team, now I, I need my my piece of paper because there are 18 and I want, them <laughs> I want them to stand up as I say your names. Thank you so much for everything you've been doing for uh, our organization. So Kelly, please stand up. Caroline, come on girls. We have Caroline, we have Lou, we have Alessia, we have Petra, we have Ellen, we have Lydia, Marcus, Aude, we have Louise, we have Jennifer. Jennifer is there, she's filming. <laughs> we have Isabel, we have Mary Carmen, we have Vanya, Elsa, and Julie. So thank you all, please. A big round of applause. And they're not counted here, but uh, where is Alexandre? Alexandre, thank you so much for everything you've been doing and helping. This is just... 
they are not just your regular sponsor or hosts. I mean, they've been doing so much uh, in between for the organization. And Alexi, where is Alexi? Uh, is there chatting? <laughs> and all the communications department. I know those types of introductions are a little boring, so I try and make it quick. <laughs> uh, but they're very necessary. So this is our multimedia team. You're going to be seeing them. So this is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. So you can uh, see her work. Uh, she does filming, multimedia production. So she's going to be filming you. If you want to have a little interview of yourself or the participants, please tell her why you're here and why you're happy to be here, hopefully. And you're going to have Marcus as well taking pictures. So give them your best smiles. <laughs> uh, they're lovely. Sharing box. Um, they are. Uh, they have been with us in another event. They're really good. They're taking great pictures. I have one here just to show you. Where is my picture? Here. Yes. Sorry, I should have taken it before. So this is me. <laughs> you can have your pictures like this or oh, gifs. So you can have them th there. They're gonna explain to you how it works. It's easy. Just give them your best smile as well. And I would like to welcome on stage Julie. Where is Julie? Julie Huguet. Thank you for, from Coworkies. Thank you. Oh, your microphone is here. Oh, yes, you can have this microphone. So good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to be here because today uh, will be, of course, an amazing day, but also because this week is very important for my team and I because we worked uh, a lot and very hard during one year to set up our website, Coworkies. So today is uh, the D-Day. Coworkies is all about creating a community of passionate people around communication and marketing field. Um, our objective is to help companies to find the best freelancers for uh, their projects. So to give you an example, if you are looking for a consultant or if you are looking for a graphist who speaks Chinese and who is fan of U2, we can create the perfect match for you. Uh, we are the kind of Tinder of the communication and marketing field. Um, we also want to help um, uh, freelancers and companies working together um, in, a, um, in the best way, so we develop uh, an in-house um, product uh, management tool. And uh, so we will, uh, my, my team and I will be there all day long, but we will also be present at the Ecom e uh, Fair at the end of the month, the month in Geneva. So we'll, we will be uh, very uh, happy to welcome you there and uh, to speak about uh, Coworkies. Have a good day. Yes, and before you clap this young lady here, all the gift bags you've b you, you see on the tables were uh, handcrafted by her and her team. Yeah. And they've been up a, long yeah. a part of the <laughs> night just to do this for you, the uh -huh. bottles of water and everything. So thank you very much for thank this. <laughs> so this is uh, the agenda now. Hopefully I'm on time. I don't know what time we're having, but normally I'm on time. Uh, so other speakers, I'm going to be introducing each of them before their speech. Uh, thank you again uh, to Ashage for having us. And uh, this is the agenda for this morning. You have it normally on the table with you, so I'm not going to say all the names. But just so that you know, we have uh, uh, Alexander presenting uh, the Certificate of Advanced Studies in Digital Transformation for Business. Uh, it's so interesting. It's so comprehensive, really have a good listening to what he's going to explain to you. Uh, then I'm going to have Kelly, Natasha and I uh, talking a little bit about women in digital Switzerland. Then after the presentations this morning, uh, we have Laura, Natalie, I'm going to say they're just their first names, and Eileen. And then lunch break at 1, 1 p.m. We won't have reserved seats in the cafeteria, so please be in groups. And please be back on time here around 2.25, something like this, so that we can start presentation on time. And be earlier at the cocktails tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, part two, in the afternoon, we have so many presentations and wonderful presentations. Uh, again, wonderful, if someone is counting the words, the times I say this word. Uh, we have Christina, Elodie, and Alizé. Then the coffee break for 30 minutes, you'll be able to network plenty today. Anna, Antonella, and myself, Kelly and Alexandre, we have a conclusion of the day. And then the cocktails, again, courtesy of HRG. So this is a really great Thank you so much. Now it's time to introduce you to Women in Digital Switzerland. Where is the clicker? Thank you. I'm happy because I have presentations this morning. I'm always high on energy in the, in the morning and then the afternoon. So, <laughs> so again, this is all the touch points 
Oh, they were there? Okay, they're not anymore. They're here. Okay, uh, so this is us. Uh, we're going to have more or less 15 minutes to talk about women in digital Switzerland. For those of you who don't know us yet, we're going to understand why and how we created Women in Digital Switzerland three years ago. So how it all started. I'm a big fan of tech conferences, of conferences with added value. And um, I just saw through the years that there were very few women speakers. So I started researching and saw this awful number that on all the speakers, there were only 6% of speakers that were female speakers. I mean, this is not okay. So I said, okay, I need to search more. What are the tech conferences doing about this? I'm going to say there's an exception here in Geneva, which is Lyft Conference. For, for many years, they've had a large number of, of women speakers and Sit Stars as well. We're going to have Alize de Tonac from Sit Stars today. It's not per se a tech conference, but they've always wanted to have uh, more women than your regular conference. But then Le Web. So I saw the tweets. Come on, Le Web. Is that that hard to have 15 women uh, for uh, three days for 30 talks? Uh, well, it looked like it was hard. So what did Le Web decide to do? Le Web is a tech conference in Paris, very famous. They decided to do panels with women, so panels on women. Then Audrey Stewart uh, sums it up really well. We don't want panels on women. We want women, uh, we want, uh, women on panels. So, <laughs> right. Uh, so why women in digital Switzerland? Because it's not about gender, because it's about talent. So we do things differently, men and women, but still it's all about talent. It's not about quotas, it's not about being smarter than men, it's not about excluding men. We have many men today here and I'm happy to see that. Um, what happened here with my presentation? Sorry about this. So, okay, sorry. Uh, first mishap of the day. <laughs> so Women in Digital Switzerland is not about gender. As I say, it is about talent and it is about added value. So what do you bring to the table? Whenever we have the meetups, uh, and Kelly is going to talk about them in a few seconds. Kelly is tweeting so much. She's doing... <laughs> Get ready, it's your turn soon. <laughs> Uh, so whenever we have meetups, we ask the members to talk about the expertise and add value. And whenever we have conversations, we don't just don't want to have networking sessions, which they're fine. I'd rather be with my boyfriend than just having cocktails. I want to have added value and learn something. And I hope today is what's going to happen uh, for you. Uh, so the other thing is quality network online and offline. So when Women in Digital Switzerland was created, Yes, it was online, but the goal has always been from the very start to have this in real life engagement and discussion. It's good to have, you know, your Twitter friends, your LinkedIn friends, your whatever friends, but if you don't meet people online and don't engage and then follow up on discussions, it's not worth it, in my opinion, in our opinion. Um, the screen here, I don't know, is doing something weird, so sorry if I just blinking, I don't know, we need to fix that. Uh, we have real experts and the focus is on thought leadership. It's about how those women who are part of the community not only are women, but they can bring something, they can bring the expertise. So this is why today we, today we have a wonderful lineup of speakers. Uh, and uh, I'm sure I would have found like really easily other speakers to speak. I'm not even talking about Kelly, who is the expert on community here. <laughs> um, the other thing, uh, and I saw this, uh, one of the things, we're going to talk about this uh, with Laura in a while, uh, first speaker, is about confidence. Uh, many men tell us that the problem with women is their confidence. Many women tell the same thing. So how do you gain confidence? Through practice. You know, and it's a very friendly environment we have in all our conferences and meetups that allow women to have more confidence. They practice, practice English, they, they talk in front of other people, and you gain confidence through this. And you gain confidence by saying and owning who I am, I am an expert, I do this, and no matter what you do, if, even if you're looking for a job, say it right and be there, and you've been working for many years, and, and, and be confident. So this is all... It, this is what it is all about. Uh, thought leadership, I mentioned that. And uh, another important thing, and Kelly is going to talk about this, is by the community, for the community. Because from the start, and uh, Victoria Marchand is here, 
Raise your hand. Victoria Marchand was the CEO of Comin Mag. Uh, she believed in us from the start, and she pushed me. She said, you know, you should do something. And she allowed, it was not ready, nothing was ready. And she said, you're up on stage in three weeks' time. I said, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. So I created Women in Digital Switzerland because of Victoria. And then it went and grew bigger because of the community. So um, we have a little problem with this. Okay, sorry about this. So the <laughs> our pillars, we have five pillars, very important. First thing is to connect. You are a member of Women in Digital Switzerland. What we want from you is to connect with other people, it's to connect, make connections, right? that are meaningful. The second thing is to share. We share on LinkedIn, but we share in real life as well. We share jobs, we share expertise, we share insights, we share failures. Uh, because it's important as well, because we learn from our failures. Uh, the third thing, very important, is inspire and be inspired. You don't need to be Marissa Meyer from uh, Yahoo. You don't need to be Sheryl Sandberg to, to inspire other people. This is something we, we tr really try to pass on to uh, the women and men who come to the meetups. Because you are the speaker, you share your expertise, and everyone can be inspired. I'm inspired every time I go there, and I do this. One of the reasons I do this is because I'm inspired every time I go to the meetups. Really, it, it takes to my heart here. I'm, I'm doing this because of the passion and from what I get from, from participants. Uh, the fourth thing, uh, and it's important, is to give visibility. We're giving visibility to the speakers today, not they need it, because they, they, they are, we have people come from in, coming from Las Vegas here. <laughs> Natalie, uh, she's here from Nestle and all the great uh, companies. But to give visibility through the meetups. And we have Jennifer filming uh, our conferences, for instance, in, in our meetups in Geneva. And to give this floor and this platform to women to, to practice is really important. And the fifth pillar that is really important to us, we have Veronique here today. Veronique, can you raise your hand? Where is she? Veronique? Oh, I don't know. You need to see her later, Veronique. Uh, guys, I don't know how to pronounce her name properly. Oh, yes, she's there. Yes, she, she is like tweeting. Yes, you need to go and see her. Uh, she founded, I'm uh, sorry if I don't say it correctly, but an organization that promotes equal pay. And she managed to bring a lot of organizations. Uh, I'm not going to name them because maybe I'm not going to be correct about the names. But go and see her and discover more about uh, her work. And she's been putting out so much effort. So people like you help to foster smarter diversity. It's not only just about quotas and putting women and f imposing this to men. We need to understand from men as well why there are not more women on boards, executive boards. So those are our pillars. So fact sheets, and then I'm going to invite Kelly uh, <laughs> to come up stage and stop tweeting <laughs> our fact sheets. So we're founded January uh, 14, uh, thanks to Victoria. Uh, thank you very much. It's a third year anniversary. Um, uh, we have more than 1,500 members. Uh, this is amazing, and uh, I, I cannot be um, thankful enough for everything for all the members have been doing for the organization. Uh, we have digital meetups in five cities. Kelly is going to talk about them. So Geneva, Lausanne, Basel, St. Gallen, and Zurich. I think I said all of them. And we have had so far seven conferences and 55 meetups, uh, so one per month. And uh, the organization, the executive committee, we have city leaders and we have volunteers. And we're almost there. A new website, I'm going to mention that a little later, and a paid membership program. I want you to become a member today. No one leaves this room without the firm intention of becoming a paid member of Women in Digital Switzerland. And last thing, we have four sponsors, and we're going to mention them. They've been with us from the very start. So Kelly, please, and Natasha, come with me. This is the volunteers team. They're part of the volunteers team. Please, a round of applause for Natasha Gajdowski and Kelly Hungerford. <laughs> you have a microphone. So they need a microphone. So Natasha is the general secretary, and Kelly, they're going to introduce themselves in a few seconds. So this is all our volunteers. We are 18 in total, and they're helping us. They're not the same people that the people from today. Some of them are, and they've been helping us 
I mean, tremend tremendously. Uh, this is a volunteer job, so they're doing this besides the regular job. So you can imagine the work it represents. So we have all of them here. You have city leaders. For each le city, you have two uh, core organizers. You have people taking care of social media, websites. So a round of applause for them too, please. Really, they're doing a great job. So, Natasha, please introduce yourself. Thank you for everything you've been doing for women in digital Switzerland. Uh, so, can you hear me? Yes. I'm, I'm really bad with microphone, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, my name is Natasha Gajewski, as she said. Uh, I am a digital marketing manager for uh, Imedia, a digital agency based in Lausanne. Um, and I also uh, founded uh, a startup uh, a few months ago uh, called uh, World Trip Travel. I'm not sure, maybe you saw some ads uh, on uh, Google AdWords or um, Facebook <laughs> because I am everywhere right now. So we sell surprise travel. So you don't know where you go, but you go there for sure. Uh, and I am also a food like blogger, uh, French girl cuisine. Uh, and uh, I, um, I first uh, met Thaisa for the first conference in Geneva and I really loved the project because uh, as many women uh, I lack, I have a huge la lack of confidence. Um, I think it's really hard for women uh, now, for, uh, at least for me, uh, to grow in a company and to be uh, sure of what I can do and to show what actually I can do. And um, in instance, I work, um, I set up digital strategy for local and international companies in the agency. And I also am a huge fan of uh, search engine optimization. And for VDS, what I actually do now, <laughs> so uh, first I helped uh, Kelly with the meetup in Lausanne. I set up the Zurich one, uh, and thanks God, uh, Lydia took over. Uh, and now I am behind the scene, and uh, I am taking care of website, money, memberships, so whatever I can do behind a computer. So, voila. She's very modest because she's been helping so much. Uh, and in particular from iMedia for the website, they've been doing it for free, everything for free, and she's been managing this project. So thank you very much for everything you've been doing uh, up until now. Thank you. <laughs> this is Kelly now. Yeah, go, this is your turn, I Kelly. I think I'm on, am I on? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so exciting. You're on. <laughs> I'm on. So exciting. So I'm Kelly Hungerford. Um, I've had the pleasure of, if I look around, meeting a lot of you, which is really exciting. For those of you I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, I hope we have the pleasure today. If not, I hope we have the pleasure in the near future at one of our meetups. Uh, I'm a digital strategist uh, for companies for small and medium-sized businesses. I really work on optimization and helping businesses that are kind of laggards come up to speed. So um, I take on a lot of the work that no one wants to touch. It's often not sexy and not fun, and <laughs> that's where I'm at. I like it. <laughs> so I also have a small company called Community Works. Um, I spent the last 20 years, I would say even, it probably started at five years old as a brownie scout. My mom is a scout leader. <laughs> Building community, it's in my blood. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I can sing the Girl Scout song. <laughs> um, and that's really where my love for community started. It was watching my mom. Uh, build community through the scouting organization and it really stayed with me for life. So um, I have a company that's dedicated to helping companies, um, startups, entrepreneurs, or even larger companies really work on building community. So it could be for various different reasons, um, word of mouth, it can be for product development, hiring, PR, what have you. <laughs> Very community based. I met Thaisa um, three years ago, and we were at a conference. More than that. More than that. I don't know. You were painting your face with crazy colors. Oh, my God. <laughs> we just decided that, yeah, she had this idea, and I wanted to do something, too. And I thought, you know what? I can put some, some action behind that, and let's take it, you know, let's, let's hit the ground. So that's where I started um, building meetups. I'll talk about that a little no. uh, now. I guess I'll start talking about that. So we leave you. That's Thank right. you oh, very much. So oh, oh, a picture. Yeah. Oh. Oh, now? Really? Okay. Yeah. This is so unconventional. I love it. <laughs> I'm a man. I can do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to talk about that. So about the meetup. <laughs> Thank you. A vibrant community now. So I'm just going to tell this story. It's short and it's sweet and I, it means a lot to me. Um, I did meet Thaisa a few years ago and she was telling me about 
uh, women in digital and how she wanted to start this, and she had started a LinkedIn group, and um, her, her goal was really to bring this to cities around Switzerland with the idea of um, creating a, a knowledge-based network of women who could help each other, and help each other in many different ways. Um, be it you're new to the city and you need to meet new people, be it that you would really like an opportunity to share your passion and get up and speak in front of others so you can hone your skills and maybe potentially wow your, your manager into letting you speak for your company, or um, what have you, many different reasons. So I said, we can do that. And I started in Lausanne um, in 2000, I guess two years ago, with one of the first meetups uh, at a bar, because that's where meetups happen, right? And um, it wasn't really, we're having problems. It's hard to present, it's hard to network at bars, you know, everyone wants to drink, nobody really wants to share skills, and just, you know. So one day, um, lucky for us, uh, a woman named Laurence, who couldn't be here today, from LIP, she works at LIP in business development, she joined us and right away opened her heart and said, I can make a decision on behalf of my company, and I give you our community space, which is this magnificent, room up in the upper left-hand corner uh, in Lausanne, and that was where the first meetup started. And we started out with about seven people, and it quickly grew. Um, today in Lausanne, we have over 300 members, and I can proudly say that every meetup now, we probably have about 40 people showing up. So it's, it's really fantastic. From there, all with the help of friends, of course. Natasha was very pivotal, pivotal in getting that going, uh, as well as Liz Wilson, who now runs the Basel Startups with a few other ladies there. Um, Victoria, who is here, really helped out until she got a job, which was a shame. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but we're very happy for her, really. Uh, so after that, we went to Lip caught on and they said, oh gosh, you know, we have space in St. Gallen too, so why don't you come over to St. Gallen and start those up? For so for six months, I made trips to St. Gallen for an hour and a half and then took the train back and, and that was great too. And then it went to Zurich and then it went to Geneva and Basel. And today our goal is really to set up in the main cities or any city where someone has the desire to open their heart, find a sponsor and make a home for anyone who would like to exchange skills and, and become a part of this community, our goal is to help you set up that organization. So if you're inspired, please let me know. We'll help you get off the ground running. We can even help you find a sponsor. Um, but we're looking to really expand to cities across um, Switzerland. By the end of the year, it would be wonderful to have five more cities on board. Really? Totally, yeah, really. So, as Thaisa said, we are powered by the community, and um, someone asked me earlier, what are three things that you've learned with your community building? And I would say one of them is um, definitely empowerment. Just hand over. Don't be that kindergarten teacher who is a micromanager on everything that, <laughs> you know, that kindergartner needs to do with the artwork. Uh, it's really about having a vision together and moving forward. Um, we are, from every aspect. If someone comes with an idea, we see how that can be incorporated in and we take it and run with it. Um, this month we're having our first Lausanne Social. Uh, it's a brewery crawl up in Saint Croix for uh, Trois Dames Brewery that Ellen, who is a member of the Lausanne Meetup, set up. So it's not just about that monthly meetup, but it's also about organizing other great activities to, to bring us together. <clears throat> We um, rely heavily on our communities in the city uh, and organizations to help us. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you can read all that. I don't need to look at that. Thaisa prepared that so nicely and was like, all right. Uh, I think one of the second things I've learned is to really listen. Before, before we started the community, we, we always have an idea when we start a community or get a group of together, we, we, we want something out of it. But what we want out of it isn't always what everybody else needs out of it. So. I think learning and listening from learning is really a large part of that community building. And then the third thing, if I think about what, what I've learned, it's really give from the heart. When you start a community, it's not about you, it's about building something together. So you might have an idea, and you might be a little impatient even to get that, that idea blooming and growing, but it's really about making a space for everybody to, to work together to achieve that goal. And very often, we just have to give and give and give and give and give 
to really get everything moving the way we want. So if you're thinking about starting within your organization a community or um, for a nonprofit or for fun, just remember it's a lot more about giving than it is the getting. And I, and I truly see that the more we give, the more we get. And I think that's why we have 1,500 people across Switzerland who've joined us. And it's, it's really a proud moment. Um, these are just some examples of topics that <clears throat> women and men, we've had our first uh, male presenter in Zurich who's a member, a paid member of Women in Digital. He says it's awesome because there's no ego. So there you go. <laughs> Not saying anything about men, but that's what he said. And many women. Yeah, he likes that too. <laughs> but um, it's not just about digital per se. We, um, we've had people speak about uh, inspirational topics also. It's, it's more about giving a venue for you to be able to share what you know with other people to help them be better, to learn and exchange. So anyway, you can have a look there and, and see um, just tons of fun. And then, you know, we have cocktails after and drink. And it's really about blazing through the presentation so we can eat and drink together. <laughs> so, in any case, I hope if you're in one of the five cities that you'll stop by. You don't have to be a paid member to come and be with us. You can just come by. Being a paid member is very nice, but I won't talk about that because Thais is. And I think I'm done. Thank you. Thank you very much. So as I said, today I want you to become a member. There are different reasons for that. So a new website designed by and developed and managed by iMedia and in particular Natasha. It's really nice. You should go and have a look. Uh, I think we put it everywhere on the, the URL. So have a look. You can be featured on the website. This is one of the main perks because you have your professional profile. LinkedIn is nothing. Our website is everything. Okay. <laughs> so why become a member? For community reasons first. To make women in digital Switzerland stronger. Yes, this is one of the reasons why people become members, because they want it to be uh, bigger, because if it's bigger, it's better for them. The second reason is uh, help increase the visibility of talented women, as I said, uh, because then they have a platform to speak. The third reason is to be part of a vibrant community, as Kelly said, very, very good reason. And the fourth reason is to support organization costs. We're not even covering costs with our membership uh, because we're giving so much out of our times. Uh, but you doing this help us with the website and other stuff. But then you say, OK, all oh, this is for the community. So what's in for me? OK, so we have here. We have many benefits. First is priority to speak over non-members uh, at meetups. For the moment, everyone can speak. But you know, after this day, I'm telling you, if you're not a member, it's going to be harder. <laughs> I'm pushy. I'm known for that. Second thing is to have a personal profile on uh, the website. As I said, privileged networking, because we are trying to develop many features on the website. And uh, with you being a member, we're going to be able, and the sponsors today we're going to get, we're going to be able to do more things on the website and have privileged networking. Right, Natasha? Yes. Discounts to local and regional events, and also uh, partnerships with uh, co-workers and uh, many other partners. And I'm going to name all of them today. Uh, guest posting, this is one of the nice things. If you like a blogger, would like to be a blogger, you can guest post on WDS. And also have promotion of all your content, your company, and everything you like to promote on our social media platforms. So... You would think, oh my God, this is awesome. I'm ready to pay so much for this. But you don't have to because it's only 30 francs. So it's a symbolic fee. I guarantee you, because I've been there and done that for many organizations, you won't find any organization with such a low entry price because it's a symbolic fee. So now, what I encourage you, because you cannot do it today, is to go to a website at the end of the day. It's very easy. You fill in a form, you pay the 30 francs, and you're a member for life of Women in Digital Switzerland for a year. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, become a sponsor. Those are our sponsors. I, I, I need to mention them. As I said, Leap, uh, as uh, Kelly said, Leap has been hosting us for the very start and Cra Digital as well. So thank you to them. iMedia and Magnolia in Basel. So how do I become a sponsor? You are wondering. Okay. You first care about digital talent and diversity. This is obviously, if you don't, 
you cannot be a sponsor of women in digital Switzerland. <laughs> the second thing, you want to make a difference. Yes, because we're starting with those sponsors, but then as it is growing, it is good for your company and it's good for us as well. It is good for your communications and it's good to think how can I integrate more women, uh, talented women within my company because for the moment, uh, in the tech sector, if you take this number, only, uh, there are only 13% of women working in the tech sector at large. So this is a very uh, low figure, and I would like to increase this proportion. And in Switzerland, we had a lot of, uh, to do be done uh, about this. And I'm going to mention this today. So education, thought leadership, and excellence, those are things you value within your company. The other thing as well, is, uh, this is not working, uh, you want to have uh, your value within your company uh, um, access to knowledge that is affordable. And this is wh how we managed to do this with Azure Day today, because otherwise we wouldn't have had this free ticket. So I would like to thank everyone who donated uh, to, to for when they registered. If you haven't, and you feel guilty about this, we have a donation box. <laughs> it's there, it's Petra taking care of the donation box. <laughs> I, I'm half French, half Brazilian, I like to always negotiate things, so sorry for being a bit pushy. <laughs> and we are a very active and talented community, as I said, so please come and see us, Kelly, Natasha and myself, on how to become a sponsor or partner. If you are uh, ask, asking yourself right now questions about how to integrate more women within your organization or on boards, we're here.